Hey everyone, D-Dub Squizzy here, and welcome back to Civ 3 World War 2. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna wake up my... 88s first. Uh, we're gonna try to drive back... these things. I'd like to actually kill them. That's honestly probably good enough. Okay, so I think that's the stack we really got to worry about. Um. They can reach it. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to let these ones... Smack these guys around. really loud for me. I'm going to move that down a little bit. I'm going to put the rest of these in here, act as an extra defensive wall to protect, uh, yeah, and this too. Make sure they don't kill our 87Bs. Let our HQs go to work again. Okay, so those are British militia divisions, which are more annoying than dangerous usually. Although if they're stacked up like these ones are, they can definitely be a handful. And it looks like they have quite a few of them. That's not good. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. I 
Not even sure what to do with these minor infantry anymore. These two can go over here. Okay, for the moment, I'm just going to funnel most of these guys into Radom. I'm really going to make sure this city's not getting taken. Schmitz in here. Should I just mass fortify? 36. I don't really want to, but at the same time, if I click mass fortify, I don't know what it'll do to my fighters, and I need them in the air. Really? in the middle of the stack, they decide to switch over to something else. at all of the Soviet tanks, which is the best I can manage for now.
My Heinkels are trying very hard not to kill their fighters, and I don't know why. There are like five of those things at one hit point down there. Next turn, I want to take that city. I think we'll be able to do it with this many tanks. Okay, that's how many we'll leave here for now. The rest are going to go down here. Oh, hello. Okay, um, I had these guys fortified, but I think, honestly, we've got the movement to make it up there, right? Nope, apparently not. The light divisions and the normal panzers do. But not the three E's, which are really the ones that you want. Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, let's do it. Well, hold on. 
I only have 388s and a couple of regular Panzer divisions. Well, we can attack anyway and just see how it goes. I have enough infantry to stack in there that... What? Oh, one of them must not have had all its movement. Apparently several of them did not. I thought they all said two. infantry we should probably use it honestly come on are you kidding me oh there's still one of those in there Died. You couldn't have just run away if you weren't going to follow through. God, it makes me so mad. Well, they might have tanks to come around and hurt us now. Some panzers there. They're all injured, though. These are both light divisions. I'll try once. Is this on a hill? Maybe I won't try once. I have a 9 defense, fortified on a hill, and a 10 population. Well... It knocks down one more guy we gotta go through. So I think they have one British militia, and then a handful of special fortresses in there, but the fortresses are slow to heal. Because they're not already fortified. So hopefully we'll make an actual difference next time. Okay. Well, I think that's about everything I'm going to be able to do right now. We've damaged this whole stack, so I'm hoping the tanks will just retreat. This one's probably going to advance and we'll kill it. These infantry are going to move forward. We'll kill them. I would like to put some more defensive units on here. But none of my infantry can make it. And nothing else is really defensive. It won't be anywhere near the top of the stack, so... Well, hopefully next turn we get two more cities of theirs. Right, those British subs, I forgot to actually... Dang it. Well, if they sail close enough to us, I guess we'll spot them anyway. Come on. 
That is the weirdest pathing I've ever seen. Where are you guys going? You know what I bet this is? I sent some destroyers out. They could be coming to escort, but I think I sent some destroyers out. And now they're coming to find and kill them. Or not some destroyers, some subs. Stinking computer. Cheating the information on what I have and where I have it. Of course, our flag's not being nearly as useful this time. A lot of these are in Odessa. Ah, the stack's back. Yeah, I knew that'd happen eventually. find that city more. Um, what do I need? Offshore platform, I suppose. Still don't have a barracks in there. Because the people are still in revolt. Which I just tried to select, but I missed.
have any in there. Well, we haven't wiped the whole stack out, but that definitely hurts it pretty bad. Let's try to get them all down below four. Really? You're gonna... Hmm. And then we'll target this other stack down here. I want to kill that elite. That thing's actually threatening. Good enough. Everything else, let's focus on this. All the things that just happened, those are what I want my bombers to do. Kill some citizens, blow up some buildings, and then promptly miss the rest of your t shots. Yeah. Okay. I was hoping they could at least hurt the enemy planes, but apparently Dorniers are too useless for even that. Terrible Russian, like, one defense planes. There we go. It's probably got a bunch of those things healing up in there. Oh yeah, I should go wake up those subs. Oh yeah, their infantry's still in there too. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four, five. We can't reach it, so it doesn't matter, I guess. No!
Dang it. Okay, well, this turn was terrible. What is that? Is that the actual infantry? No, that's a militia division. I don't have any actual infantry in here. that the infantry? Yes it is. Attacking him with a motorized infantry is a risk, but I think it's worth it. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Fail me now. Okay. Now that city's very close to being taken. That's a new one. There we go. Now these guys can't get away. Okay, now it's these ones. Let's take our elite first. Really? You let yourself get killed too?
thought an infantry was on top of that stack. Yeah, what in the world? How's it doing that? Soviet garrison. Yeah, all with all three of his defense. Oh, that's why those tanks were in there. They were trying to fill up that uh, that transport. All right. Well, that's a nice win for us. Kind of suck to be these guys right about now. They can't even escape. Uh, let's not do that, actually. I was going to have them attack, but the thing will just run away. I know how they work. I was sending a few people. Oh yeah, it's these ones. You two. Yeah, they're in range. So I can move this now. Goodbye, entire stack. Now the question is, should we try to kill that? Because I don't think I have any spare panzers to actually pull that one off. Yes, I do. I'll leave the motorized rifle alive, because I don't want to go onto that space. But that'll work right there. Alright, let's wake up some more infantry, because you guys have places to be. They should just be able to make it up there. And I'm going to wake up a few Messerschmitts, because they're not really in, in that much danger out here. You're all going to go here.
kill that thing. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so now to get over here, they have to go all the way around. That's the main benefit to taking this thing, is their road system is now wildly inconvenient because this big old swamp is just going to slow them down, keep them from going anywhere. We also just wiped out multiple stacks and took two more cities. This was a, a major turn for us. We lost a few units, which I would rather not, but totally worth it. There are 56 Soviet tanks. Boy, they have been producing those things fast, but I'm pretty sure they're down most of their stacks. Which is the main focus. Alright. You want to have peace now? Go for it. Now leave us alone and get out of my land. Okay. Is that something? I didn't know that they would actually accept the treaty. But I'm good with this. Taking this city, and really taking these two as well, this is a big deal. They may dig a road through here, but the computer doesn't really think in terms of convenience and logistics. As long as there is a road connecting the cities, they're good. So they're going to come through and rebuild this one, because Odessa is still cut off. But uh, otherwise, they're just going to ignore all that. Yeah, we got resisting people here. Only one more resistor here, but I still can't complete this stupid thing. Alright. Now Japan, don't go starting another war with them. Man, what was even the point? I, be I bet you they just threw some troops against each other up here. And that was it. No one even actually took or changed anything, just some, some folks died. No, I shouldn't do that. There's a transport right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can't get anyone else in position. Now, let me see here. Type 9. Okay, so they're fortified. I think they used to have a much more of them there. Spain really cut into their numbers. Okay, so with the peace treaty with Russia signed, we hurt them pretty badly. They're not going to recover from that quickly, and they're going to be angry at us forever, but I'm okay with that. I'm just going to have to deal with this guy being in my land. He's never going to get out. If I tell them to move him, we're going to war again. So what I'm going to do is move my units down here. We're going to attack Greece. I want to take Athens, and then paratrooper someone down here in Crete, and honestly, let me see, one, two, three, four, yeah, I think we'll do it in Nicosia too. I'll paratrooper guys in both of them, um, and then we'll see if I can, like if our planes can beat the places down enough. Nicosia's only got, it's cut off from everything, so all it has is some British militia, I think. 
but it probably has been mass producing them. So the 87Bs are going to have to come in clutch and kill all of them. In the meantime, my guys are just going to have to attack Athens and take it. I'll probably give us a turn or two to heal up, but that's what we'll do. Let's end this turn. Russia's going to scream at me for being in their land. We'll get out of their land. Boy, America, you're really getting on my nerves. If my subs were in range, we would so sink that heavy cruiser and its transports. We certainly cut their bombing numbers down. Only a few made it through. They might be prioritizing to build other things. Yeah, my HQs are so loading into Gibraltar once we take it, and just they're just going to focus on lighting up anything down here. Anything that passes by is just going to get hammered. But they don't have their infantry anymore. He was the scary defender. I also need to take Portugal. Yeah, that's gonna die. Oh! Oh, wow! That is a bold move. can't bomb them. But, if my attacks go well, I mean, okay, if I can take the city this turn by straight up attacking, we just, they lose their whole fleet. Should I let those guys go? I probably should, the ones from Tirana. My bad. <laughs> Joseph Stalin's furious now <laughs> because of how soundly he just got whooped out of Germany. And because we took part of Ukraine and one of the Baltic cities. Yeah, well, don't be stupid next time. How about that? Oh, well, they're learning from their mistakes. They're actually going to put roads on some vital locations, but it's not going to matter because if I have my way, the next time we go to war, I'm good with that. Actually, yeah, let's build some motorized infantry. I need more of them. They're not taking over as the main thing that we need, though. Warsaw's just happy to not be on the edge of a war again. Like, right there. Um, wow, this thing could build German infantry in one turn. You know what? This one... Because Bucharest can produce pretty fast. It should continue building. 87 Bs. Um, yeah, factory, I guess. There are still resistors here? Oh, there's still a bunch of them. I 
I didn't even know that. It's not really a surprise. Okay, so before anything else, I, I'm not going to run this whole turn. But I want to see if we can take Gibraltar. I don't know exactly what they've got in here. Oh, yes! That one's all healed up now. Not fully, but it's up there. Yeah, they built a new one. Wow, we just took out three British battleships in one move. Oh, that's awesome. That feels great. Sink these things. Thuja. They're not great. Okay. Well, that's awesome. That really, really hurts them. That means the Valiant is the only one le they have left that I know of. They probably have some more elsewhere. Let me see. Where's that? Yeah, they have three battleships left. Um, probably a couple more down here in the Mediterranean. The, the Suez fleet has several. They probably lost one, maybe two, fighting with the Italians. So, it's certainly not their last battleship, but losing those three, that was a major loss for them, for their sea power. Now all I have to do is find a way to crunch the rest of their stupid planes, and then we will be the completely dominant in the sea. And they're already running out of planes. Their bombers are just slowly but surely fizzling out of existence. And our fighters are overwhelming them. And now that we are no longer fighting with Russia, I can direct the rest of my fighters over to Britain, and we can actually do something. I'm glad they kicked me out of their land. It makes it easier for me to move. So yeah, I'll probably just Spence a couple troops down here, um, just to make sure we can actually take Lisabon, and a properly garrison this place. I had to pull everything out all at once last time. I'm also going to wake these guys, just because I do want them to keep moving. Now that we're crunching the destroyers, I'm a little less worried about it. And I want them to come out here, find those Americans, and sink them. Yeah, so I'll send some guys down to take that. Most of them are going to stay here, they're going to hit Athens, and my air force is going to support the taking of these two islands, hopefully. And then the rest of my ground troops are going to roll up to Rostock, where my uh, transports are going to come back around, and we'll get ready to invade Denmark and Sweden. Yeah, I'm glad the war with Russia is over. It was gnarly, but we didn't lose all that much, and, uh, and they lost quite a bit. So I'm going to call that one a win. It slowed down my plans, but they were plans worth slowing. They're putting a forest there. That is not a bad idea. That's, that's pretty smart. 
All right. Well, I'm going to have to end this one here. Um, please check the link in the description if you haven't uh, for my book. If you like the look of it, give it a read. And if you like the read, give it a positive review. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.